Hello everyone, my name is Cami and welcome to my channel, Key to Disney. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back on my channel. We mainly Disney content with a sprinkle of Bath & Body Works. And today's video is going to be a little rough. We're in my bathroom. Um, I need to do my soap um, collection and my soap inventory because I sense a soap sale coming. And I need to figure out if I need to get any spring soaps. I feel like I do. I feel like I have a lot of holiday soaps. So I'm going to be going through my collection you won't be seeing my face you will just be seeing all the soaps in my soap collection and all its glory so let's get started with my bath and body works soap collection i'm trying to come up with like the best angle that i can do but here is where i store my soaps i'm trying to show you guys all the way back there can you guys see that yeah i've got a lot of soaps um but the issue is i feel like they're all like um, winter or summer scents, but let's get started. So the first one I have is Sun Washed Citrus, which has fragrance notes of sugared lemons, juicy pineapple, and mandarin. And I'm going to make a pile of my summer soaps and then my fall and winter soaps so I can figure out if I actually need any spring ones. The next one I have is Open Sky. And this one has fragrance notes of fresh air, wild blackberries, soft violet, and a cloud of comforting vanilla. Now we have cool cucumber mist. I love the packaging on this. Um, it has fragrance notes of cool cucumber, fresh spearmint, and salt water mist. Next we have sea salt and lime, which I love so much. The packaging is gorgeous and just the color of the soap and I love any like lime fragrances. This one has fragrance notes of chilled lime, fresh eucalyptus, and sea salt. Okay. Next we have kitchen lemon. Love this packaging. It has fragrance notes of sparkling mandarin, fresh thyme, and cedar wood. Next we have guava colada. And this is fragrance notes of tropical guava, mouthwatering honeydew, and coconut cream. Next we have Fiji white sands. And this is fragrance notes of white sands, vanilla orchid, and warm amber. I'm excited to give this one a try and the packaging is super cute. I love the green. Next, we have Cactus Blossom, and this one has fragrance notes of Cactus Flower Petal, Sun-Kissed Coconut, and Sparkling Lemon. Love that floral scent. Um, I think that's all my spring ones, honestly. Now that I'm looking at it, I think the rest are holiday ones, so I'm going to definitely need to get some spring ones. Because so far, I have only eight spring ones. That is not going to make me like make it through like September and October. So I'm definitely gonna need to get some more at this next sale, I think. But the next one we have is Fresh Winter Air. And this is fragrance notes of zesty citrus, fresh peppermint, and cold evergreen. Next we have Vampire Blood. And this one has fragrance notes of red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. Then we have Happy Haunting. Love the packaging on this, like the gold foiling on it. Beautiful. This is fragrance notes of Mysterious Lime, Frightening Pear, and Spooky Sea Salt. Love a good lime and salty fragrance. Super, super good. Next we have Snowy Peach Berry. And this one is fragrance notes of Snow Kissed Cranberries, Frosted Peach Blossom, and Shimmering Woods. Then we have Merry Christmas Winter Candy Apple, which has fragrance notes of red apple, winter rose petals, and candied orange. Now, some of these I can definitely use during the spring if I really wanted to. I just don't like to have the Christmas packaging out, and I don't have any of those, like, reusable, like, soap holder, like, refillable things. So that's probably why I'm going to end up getting some more. So I pulled some of these forward so they're easier for me to get. So the next one we have is Christmas Morning Mimosa. Um, and this one is fragrance notes of fresh cranberry, champagne bubbles, and a splash of orange. I have not tried this one yet, I don't think, but it sounds amazing. Next we have Bright Citrus Sunflower. Clearly this is a spring and summer scent, so my organization skills didn't work very well, but it's all right. That's why we're doing this. 
Um, but this one has fragrance notes of juicy mandarin orange, golden sunflower, and sugar cane. That one also sounds amazing. The next one we have is iced cinnamon rolls. And this has fragrance notes of warm cinnamon rolls, fresh orange, and sugar glaze. Moving on, the next one we have is Happy Halloween in this really pretty packaging. And this one has fragrance notes of mysterious marshmallow fluff, candy corn, and it's sweet orange. Then we have Dazzling Nights, which I love the scent of this, and the packaging is really cute too. But this is fragrance notes of warm vanilla, spiced winter berries, and cedar wood. Next, we have another winter candy apple, just in a different packaging. And another winter candy apple in a different packaging. Next, we have Merry Cookie in this packaging. And this one has fragrance notes of buttery shortbread, vanilla bourbon icing, and sponge sugar. Then we have Sugared Spell. Again, love this packaging. Super, super pretty. Has fragrance notes of spooky sugared lemons, candy gumdrops, and sweet musk. I know it's only May, but I'm so excited for Halloween. Um, this is Candy Corn Treats. And this one has fragrance notes of enchanted marshmallow, chilling lavender, and candy corn. Next, we have Strawberry Snowflakes, which I do have two of. And this has fragrance notes of Juicy Strawberry Whipped Cream and Iced Bergamot. And then here is the second one. Okay, and then the next one we have is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, which I've actually used some of this up. Um, this has fragrance notes of Creamy Pumpkin, Toasted Marshmallow, and Warm Praline. Next, we have a Pumpkin Cupcake. Love this, like, farmhouse packaging. Super cute. Um, this is fragrance notes of baked pumpkin, whipped vanilla, frosting, and golden honey. Then we have snowy alpine mountain, which I just think the packaging is super, super precious. This is fragrance notes of crisp air, fresh cedar wood, and clean musk. Next, we have marshmallow fireside. Again, this packaging is gorgeous. I love the packaging on all the soaps. This is fragrance notes of toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and fire roasted vanilla. Next, we have Sweater Weather, and this one has fragrance notes of sage, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. The next one we have is Vanilla Cloud. Love this packaging. I know I keep saying that, but I like, like the gold foiling up here. This is fragrance notes of whipped vanilla, apple blossom, and sandalwood. Next, we have Autumn S'mores, which is absolutely delicious smelling. It has fragrance notes of crisp apple, gooey marshmallow, and cinnamon spice. It is like an apple s'mores fragrance. So, so good. Then we have Pure Wonder, another spring scent that I misplaced and accidentally had it in the back. This is fragrance notes of iced rose, star, jasmine, and warm white amber. We're dwindling down to the rest of my soaps. As you can see, like I'm good on holiday soaps. I just need more spring soaps, actually. Um, we've got crushed candy cane, and this has fragrance notes of cr crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaves. Then we have um, let it snow, twisted peppermint, and this is fragrance notes of cool peppermint, sugared snow, and ar aromatic balsam. And then we've got perfect, perfect pumpkin. Which this one has fragrance notes of carved pumpkin, spooky cinnamon, and moonlight vanilla. And then next we have Wicked Apple with a cute little ghost on it. And this one has fragrance notes of ghostly green apple, creepy caramel drizzle, and vicious vanilla bean. And then we have a peppermint sugar cookie. Which this one has fragrance notes of crushed peppermint, creamy butter, and soft spun sugar cookies. And then last but not least we have another winter candy apple um, i'm going to put these out on my floor and organize them and give you a total on how many soaps i have foaming hand soaps as you can see i don't like the gel ones that's why i don't have any but yeah so let me organize and i'll be right back so these are all my spring slash summer soaps i have 10 of them for a normal person that's great but i go through so many soaps so i think at the next soap sale i might pick up like three or four more just to make sure I can get myself through the summer until fall happens. Here are all my fall and winter soaps and Pure Wonder, which I accidentally missed. So I do have 11 spring soaps and now, but these are all like my fall and winter scents. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys. 
them are really quick. And then I have, um, I have 29 in this little pile and then there's 10 in the first one. So I do have 39 hand soaps, which kind of seems like a lot. And I don't really need like any more fall or winter ones. So I'll be good on fall and winter soaps until probably next winter or the next two winters um but yeah that was everything in my bath and body Works soap collection if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up comment down below what your favorite soap was from today's video or let me know how many soaps you have in your collection i love talking to you guys in the comments down below thanks again you guys for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye